right, so in Lightburn, we want to split a vector graphic in half. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your graphic is combined or grouped together. Um, up here, we hover over and we see that's group selection, that's ungroup selection. Um, the next thing we're going to want to do is create a box outline that is going to represent our half of the graphic. So get it as close as possible, and then what you're going to do is click on your graphic uh, that you're trying to split, and here you have your midpoint right there. Um, you can nudge it over. Since we're on the topic of nudges, I figured I'd explain the cool trick that Lightburn has, and it is shape movement increments. So over here you have control plus arrow, just the arrow and then shift plus arrow and you can set these to whatever you want that will benefit how you create so for example if I had these two boxes and I wanted to nudge it over uh, and I use my arrow key it's gonna move in a designated amount of increments or or a measured increment if I hit the shift key depending on how I have that set, it's going to jump. Uh, and of course you can have these set differently. I have my shift key um, set to larger movements. I have my arrow set to you know, just the arrow to smaller movements. And if I hit my command key, I have very, very minute, very small movements. So this is my command key and you can barely tell that it's moving, but that's because if I need to match those up exactly and I hit my command key and I just keep on nudging it over, uh, I can align those without fail. I would be able to, you know, instead of having to fight with it, I just move it over incrementally until I know for sure that it is lined up. Uh, looks like it needs to go up a little higher too. And you can see the amount that it moves is very, very small, and that is completely adjustable via your gear setting and your shape movement increments, and you can control exactly the distance that these move with the hotkeys. Hope that helps. So that you know for sure that you are on the halfway point. So there we go. We have half. The next thing you're going to do is ask yourself, what do I want to do? Well, I want to take that graphic and I want to cut, in, cut it in half with this rectangle. So once we have both of those selected using our shift key and clicking on it, we would use subtract. So there we go. Now we have it split in half and we don't know where the other part is. So this is how I do it. I don't know. There might be an easier way, but I just, I copy that one. It's already selected. I just hit control copy or whatever it is on a Windows PC. Um, so I, I hit command copy. Then I go back and then you use the opposite tool, which is intersection. And now you're left with the other half. And now you just do a command paste or control paste. And then you have your two graphics. And then you would just have to set it up correctly when you go to laser so they match up in the middle or the top or wherever, however you're going to line it up on the laser. But that's how I do it. I find it very simple. Um, hopefully that works for you.